Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. Welcome to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. We're going through the fall feasts, which are the final feasts on the Levitical calendar. Today is day 25, and the title is Joyful Sacrifices. Two unique features characterize this final holiday, the Feast of Tabernacles. One is great joy. God commanded Israel three times when talking about this holiday, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. And isn't that great after the very somber holiday five days ago of the Day of Atonement? Well, the second is a great number of sacrifices. So we're reading from Numbers 29, verses 12 through 16, 35 through 39. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work, and you shall keep a feast to the Lord for seven days. You shall present a burnt offering, an offering made by fire as a sweet aroma to the Lord. Thirteen young bulls, two rams, and fourteen lambs in their first year, they shall be without blemish. Their grain offering shall be a fine flour mixed with oil three-tenths of an ephah for each of the thirteen bulls, two-tenths for each of the two rams, and one-tenth for each of the fourteen lambs. Also, one kid of the goats is a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the eighth day you shall have a sacred assembly. You shall do no customary work, you shall present a burnt offering, an offering made by fire as a sweet aroma to the Lord. One bull, one ram, seven lambs in their first year without blemish. And their grain offering and their drink offerings for the bull, for the ram, and for the lambs by their number, according to the audience. Also one goat as a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. Whew. These you shall present to the Lord at your appointed feasts, besides your vowed offerings and your free will offerings, as your burnt offerings and your grain offerings, as your drink offerings, and as your peace offerings. Wow, did you get all that? I wonder who kept track. Each day the number of sacrifices is decreased. In addition to the regular daily offerings and at the end of the seven days, each day, the number of sacrifices decreased. In addition to the regular daily offerings, at the end of the seven days of the feast, they had sacrificed a total of 14 rams, 98 male lambs, 70 bulls. And if you know your math, each of those numbers are divisible by seven. You see, joy and sacrifice are the signs of true worship. So we want to pray today for the peace of Jerusalem and that as Israel worships the Lord on this Feast of Tabernacles, they will do so with their whole heart and, of course, great joy. Abba Shemayim, we come to you in the name of our male lamb, our Passover lamb, Yeshua the Messiah. And we pray for Jerusalem during this feast especially on this first night, that they will worship you with a true and a full heart and great joy. And may they recognize that the sacrifices that were so many then has been done, the one single sacrifice of Yeshua. And it's in his name that we pray. Amen. And so with that I say, Lehitraot, Shalom from Jerusalem.